Welcome back to the Ruthless Entrepreneur Show, and I'm ready to jump right in. And I want to start by attacking the massive mistake millions and millions of entrepreneurs, salespeople, and small business owners are making every day. And that is believing that their image all right, and building their so-called brand is a good idea. Nothing could be further from the truth. Unless you're Coke or Pepsi or Budweiser and have $100 million to promote your simple logo or brand, then you're wasting your time and money. Look, prospects for your product or service are not loyal. Whether you sell real estate, mortgages, MLM, cars, insurance, it doesn't matter. Because for the most part, they will never remember you. And if all you're putting out there to your money-spending prospects is a picture of you with your logo and a cute slogan or saying, you can forget about it. Potential clients for any product or service listen to one station and one station only, and that's WIFM. What's in it for me? Period. Look at it this way. Think of your ad, website, or business card as a radio station. And your radio stations, which is your marketing material, are out there with thousands of other radio stations, which is your competition, competing for your prospect's dollar. Now, imagine that your prospect is scrolling through all these channels and they come to your station, your marketing material, playing the same old tune. An ad or a business card with your picture on it or a cute saying with no compelling reason for them to call you, to get excited. Folks, you have lost them and I can tell you it will be hell getting them back. To succeed in sales, or as a business owner, you have to change your mindset, change your way of thinking, and it begins with little steps. And the little step we're going to take today will be a big step for the majority of you. And that is this. I want you to tear up your business card, burn it, destroy it, whatever it takes, because I can almost guarantee it stinks. It's ineffective. It's useless. Folks, your business card is one of the biggest marketing tools you have. I mean, think how many cards you give out a day, a week, a year. Then ask yourself how much business it got you. Nada. Why? Well, look at this card. All right? why, would I, why would I call this person? What reason do I have? What's even worse is if I come across this card a week later or even a month later, chances are almost certain I will have forgotten who you were. Your goal is to develop a business card on steroids, one so powerful and compelling that if you dropped it on the ground and someone found it a week later, they would still call you, even without meeting you. Your card needs to create traction, create action, but most importantly, a call to action. You see, the foundation for all effective marketing material is made up of three components three ingredients, if you will, that when blended together effectively will generate massive results. So let's talk about the three ingredients to million dollar magnetic ad copy. Well, the first ingredient of a solid money-making ad piece is magnetism. All right, catch my attention, draw me in with a powerful statement, a powerful attention-grabbing header. It goes back to the prospect who is, uh, you know, in the market to buy your product or service, and they're out there scrolling through all that marketing crap they're coming upon, you know, trying to find WIFM, what's in it for me? And all they're seeing is cheesy ads, stupid slogans, useless pictures, stuff they've seen time and again. And at the end of the day, it is the marketing piece that presents a statement or a picture that grabs hold of them like a magnet, and pulls them in with interest that has the most potential of making a sale. And later in the show, I'm going to give you an example how to do this with your business card. All right? The second ingredient is emotion. All right? You've sucked me in with your magnetic statement. Now justify it to me. Get me excited. All right? Differentiate yourself from your competitors besides using overused terms like great quality, number one, the best, experience, blah, blah, blah. Give me a reason to do business with you. And the final and most important ingredient is a call to action. All right? Get me to pick up the phone and call you now. What are you going to give me? Okay? What's in it for me? W-I-F-M. I don't care if I'm on your website holding your business card, 
looking at your ads. Why should I call you? What is your call to action? Because folks, a phone number is not a call to action. Telling them that you're the best, that's not a call to action. Listen, once your ad has created the emotion, created the excitement, and created the interest, it is at that point you need to have a compelling call to action in place. Because if not, everything you did was for nothing. And as they leave your marketing material and change the channel, that emotion you built will dissipate as rapidly as you build it. When we come back, I have an amazing interview with true two proven business success coaches, twin brothers Brandon and Cameron Sharp, who not only practice what they preach, but are going to offer you the tools and strategies to blow away your bank account and make more money than you ever imagined in less time, regardless of the economy. And after that, I'm going to show you just how to take what I just taught you and create a business card that is going to turn your voicemail into a seven-figure marketing machine. Stay tuned. We'll see you in a few.